Hello my loves, Tony here from TL Yarn Crafts and welcome back to my channel. As you can probably tell from the title, today we are diving into mystery bags from We Crochet. This will be my first time trying them out. Not gonna lie, I already took them out of the box and I'm a little skeptical, but before we get too deep into this video, let's have a word from our sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for the curious and the creative. Millions of members visit this video workshop platform to learn everything from illustration and design, even knowing how to run your small business and crush it at social media. Now I've been in a bit of a creative rut, so I hopped on Skillshare earlier this week for some inspiration. The universe must have known what I needed because it gave me Finding Fulfillment by Emma Gannon. In this class, Emma touches on how making necessary pivots in your personal, creative, and business lives can be just the breath of fresh air you've been looking for. Through the lens of her own journey, as well as three other magnificent humans, I was able to see how I could change what I do and how I do it for the better. Now this class and thousands more are available on demand when you upgrade to the premium membership. If you're ready to explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in your own creativity, hop on over to Skillshare. The first 1,000 subscribers to click the Skillshare link down in the description will get a free trial of the premium membership. If you're an adventurous, yarny person, mystery boxes, mystery bags might not be new to you, but as somebody who is quite picky, I mean, I chose Yarn Snob for a reason. As somebody who's quite picky, I like to know what I'm getting, especially when I'm ordering yarn online. So I was perusing the We Crochet website looking for something fun to do for our collab this month, and I saw that they have mystery boxes. We had some great success with letting Siri choose the colors that I was going to use in my scarf a few videos back, so I thought it would be fun to just let We Crochet choose what yarn I I got in general. We Crochet offers four different mystery bags of yarn. They have two easy care bag options, both of which come with five skeins. They have a wool bag that comes with six skeins and a cotton bag that comes with four skeins. I'm not much of a cotton person, so I didn't get that one, but I did get one easy care and one wool bag. Let's check out that wool bag first. So here is the wool bag. The bags come in a box, so you really don't know what they are, but the bags themselves are just clear. So let's see what we've got. First thing out comes Wool of the Andes Worsted. This is the color Pompous Heather. It is 100% superwash wool. It definitely feels like wool. I do love this color. Uh, it's probably not a color I would normally choose, so I can appreciate that about this mystery bag. You don't know what you're gonna get, so that also means you don't know what colors. And I don't know, I'm not seeing a whole lot of pinks and corals in here, so <laughs> definitely not a mystery bag I would've put together. But that's Wool of the Andes. We also have Chroma, which is really nice. It's a single ply, fingering weight, super wash wool and nylon blend, which means it's great for socks. This colorway is called Pegasus. It's got really beautiful purples, blues, green. Even though this isn't my normal color range, I could definitely see myself using this. I would just add it to a blanket or something, but if you're somebody that does socks, I know for sure that the Chroma fingering weight is fantastic for socks. Onward and upward, we have Stroll Tweed fingering weight. They're giving me a lot of fingering here. Okay, so this is 65% fine superwash merino wool, 25% nylon, 10% Donegal Tweed. This is gorgeous. This color is called Lapis, and that is a really pretty bluish purple. I really do like that. I definitely would never pick this color, so I like that, I'm a fan. This one is Tough Puff. Tough Puff and I go way back in that I've always admired Tough Puff but have never used it for anything. This one is called Jelly. <laughs> definitely does look like Jelly. 100% wool, single ply roving. It's a su super bulky category six weight. It just feels very wooly. It's gonna be really great for felting if you're into that. Love Tough Puff have never used it. We've got Chroma Twist Bulky, really pretty. This color is called Narwhal. I don't know, it's it's pretty to look at. Would I ever use it? I doubt it. I don't know that this is my color. I, uh, let me just finish telling you about it, I guess. 70% superwash wool, 30% nylon. Probably a good choice for accessories, I would guess, or maybe some home decor items. It is pretty soft though. Just don't love the color. Last thing in this bag, we've got Swish Bulky. Swish and I are super best friends. We've been friends in, since we met. Uh, and Swish Bulky is no different from any of the other Swish brands that I've tried. It is very soft. It's fine superwash merino wool, 100%. It honestly feels like... This is gonna sound weird, okay, but just roll with it. You know like when you first get your hair like washed professionally, that feeling, that's what this feels like. It's really soft, smooth, 
fluffy, like it's got some body to it. I'm a big fan and I would definitely use this for honestly just about anything. This would make a fantastic sweater. When it comes to the wool box, I would say out of 10, I'm gonna give this, let's say a six and a half mainly because I just kind of have a one of everything, which is always a little tricky. With a mystery box, you shouldn't expect to get more than one skein of anything. When it comes to the colors, we do have a bit of a theme here. Some really good purples, greens, blues, and the gray balances it all out with a neutral. I can see what they were trying to do here, and I can appreciate that We Crochet did more than just grab a handful of random yarns and put them in a bag. They tried to make something cohesive. And I will say this, I've been working with We Crochet for a long time and I've never come across a yarn that they make that I just all out hate. Getting a mystery bag from them, I didn't expect it to be bad at all because I really like their yarns. The colors aren't a great fit for me and it's a little tricky for me to put things together because I have so many different weights. I have a one, this one's a six, this one's a five, this one's a five, but I would never use those together. This one's a one as well and then this one's a four. So it's like I can't do anything with this, but overall, I'm pretty pleased with the wool mystery bag from We Crochet. Now let's check out the Easy Care bag. All right, you guys can go. You can go. Bye. <clears throat> okay, here is the Easy Care bag. Just looking at it already, I'm um, I'm um. Let's just get it open, okay? Yeah, here we go. All right, let's just take everything out. So firstly, I am pretty pleased that I now own two Swish Bulkies, this and the gray. That's actually really beautiful together. I'm gonna, I'm, that just made me really excited. Maybe that's the key, you have to buy more than one. Is this Swish Bulky too? <gasps> it is, oh, oh my gosh, spooky season, here we come. Oh wow, oh, I'm gonna have to do something with this here. Okay, focus, focus, here we go, okay. In the Easy Care bag, it's supposed to be yarns that are easy to take care of. We're not gonna have any raw wool, we're focusing on yarns that can likely go into the washer, if not also the dryer. So first we've got Swish Bulky, this color is Amethyst Heather. This is my color, right? Purple, yes, jewel tones for fall, say less, okay? We've got Amethyst Heather, fine superwash merino wool. There's a bunch in here too, and it just feels so nice. Okay, I'm happy with that for sure. Oh, and then as far as care, this is machine wash cold tumble light, tumble dry low, so it is easy care for sure. Then we also have Mighty Stitch Bulky. This actually feels really nice. Is this acrylic? 80% acrylic, 20% superwash wool. Mm. This color is called Celestial. It feels really nice. Uh, it's definitely got this acrylic vibe to it. It's got that acrylic shine to it. But she's actually real cute and real soft. My concern would be, of course, that over time, this is gonna get fuzzy. But if you've got something that you don't mind getting fuzzy, so maybe like your favorite blanket on the couch or something to give to the kids, this is gonna be a great choice. Machine wash, cold, tumble, dry, low. So definitely easy care, I love. Hawthorne, oh. I love you, girl. And even though this like pea green would pull out some really weird colors in my skin, I'd probably still wear it. This is Hawthorne Fingering Weight. This is Cattail Kettle Dye. So it's got this beautiful kind of tonalness to it. I'm a sucker for tonals. It uh, is made from 80% fine Highland wool, superwash fine Highland wool, 20% polyamide, which is basically nylon. Machine wash, cold, tumble, dry, low. Definitely easy care. This is going to be beautiful for shawls. My immediate thought is get two other colors of this and make my flat iron shawl. That's this one. Mm -hmm. And love it. Gorgeous. And then the last one we've got in here is Stroll Tweed Fingering Weight. Oh, did we get Stroll Tweed here? We did. So these are both Stroll Tweed. Machine Wash Cold Tumble Dry Low. It's Super Wash Merino Wool with Nylon and Donical Tweed. Uh, probably wouldn't put those together, but I actually like this one. This is North Pole Heather. It's like an icy blue with uh, brown and black colored flecks in it. I like it. The Easy Care bag, I will definitely say that I prefer. I'm gonna give this bag, <sighs> she gonna get a seven and a half out of 10. These aren't necessarily my favorite colors, but if I was new to We Crochet's yarns, I would go with this bag. Anything I use out of here is gonna be easy to take care of and I don't have to like, 
really think too hard about how to maintain anything made from these, which I think is awesome. I'm surprisingly impressed with what came in these mystery bags. And I think that's because I'm overall impressed with Recrochet. I'm grateful to be sponsored by them, but I also wanna say with that sponsorship, I only work with companies that I actually like. So if you're expecting to come here and me being like, oh my God, I hate all of it. Like you're never really gonna hear that from me. But I will say with this whole lot, I'm especially impressed. Now I'm gonna level with you. We Crochet as a company steps it up with their yarns. So their mystery bags are not cheap. The cotton bag is the cheapest, a little over $25, but otherwise you're looking upwards to like high 40s, low 50s for one of these bags. Thankfully, We Crochet is running a massive sale right now. It's 20% off their entire site with the code everything20, but the mystery bags especially are on sale for 30% off right now. So you can save a few dollars and try out some We Crochet yarns if they're new to you. If you're trying to decide if a mystery bag is a good fit for you, think about it like this. You have to be really open to different colors, different kinds of yarns, different kinds of weights. I think this is fantastic for anybody who's like, I don't really know how to get into nicer yarns. I don't know what to pick. I don't know what to try. We Crochet is definitely a step up from what you're going to find at your local craft store. So anything in this bag is going to be a real adventure for you to try out. Once you receive the bag, some ideas of what to do with all of this is definitely pair them up by weight first. So when I got these Swish Bulkies, I'm like, this makes a whole lot of sense. I really wish this was in a usable color to add to this, but I mean, this is already a perfect palette, so we're just not even gonna mess with that. But definitely look at what you have in different weights, start pairing things together and considering what small projects you could work on. And the opportunities are really endless. If anything, this is a jumping off point for you to really explore your creativity and see what you can do to use up some of those yarns you were sent. Now, my final question is, would I buy a mystery bag again? Likely not. As somebody who's really familiar with We Crochet's yarns, I know exactly what I like. I know the colors that I like, and I've tried enough of their yarns to know how they feel and what I can expect from them. But if you're new to the idea of a mystery bag or a mystery box, I would definitely recommend it, especially with them being on sale right now. Pop over to We Crochet, use that code EVERYTHING20 to save 20% off your entire cart and make sure you get a mystery bag because those are 30% off. I've got links to everything that I mentioned down in the description. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Before we go, let's give big thanks to our Cup of Caffeine sponsor, and that is Grammy G. When donating, Grammy said, if I need to know what hooks to buy or yarn to use, I seek your advice first. I'm itching to buy some Tunisian crochet hooks, and after watching your review, I'm saving up my pennies for a set of tulip bamboo hooks. Well, keep saving those pennies, Grammy. Those hooks are 100% worth it. If you enjoy my videos and want to support my channel, please buy me a coffee. Who knows? I might shout you out my next video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.